just here, but consistently throughout the day, constantly meditating yes. on His Word.
got to start dealing with this okay if we're going to reverse this we have to start dealing with this right now okay okay I don't know which direction y'all come from but I want you to go in the end I want you to go from Central Avenue this way I want you to come from out here at the split come back this way tell me what you see better yet tell me what you don't see Okay? Traditions have been laid for generations. This is not the first mother's lament. And, and it might not be. But if we watch this go on, we watch this go on. Okay? And I, I made a comment earlier. We don't have, from this area that I pointed out in the end, those things that are institutions that make up a community yeah. that a lot of us are yeah. used to. Yeah. A lot of us are used to. Yeah. A lot of us are used to it. We take it for granted. Okay? And I've done enough in this community now. I've been, I've been able to intersect in different areas and we are in serious shape here. And it ain't good. Okay? And I'm gonna say it right now. It's all about, but I failed. I failed, okay? You wanna put it on me? Fine. But Rick Roach fault. I'll take it, okay? But then you better go out here and start paying attention and doing the things that need to be done, okay? You got people like Miss Felicia. Yes, we got a whole bunch of folk around here. Constance Everett, all these other folk, Reggie Jack, all these other folk. Gwen, everybody's here. But we got to come together. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to yes, come together. Please. Here's why. Because by ourselves, individually, Calvin Skinny, you know what's going to happen. We go down the drain. That's the, that's the bottom line. So either we come together and understand that this community in particular needs certain things to happen. We need certain things in place. We need certain things to get started. We need those resources. We can't keep submitting to other people's wishes and whims for this community. And that, some people may call it politics, okay? And you may think this prayer circle, that this prayer circle ain't got nothing to do with politics. Oh, it's got everything to do with politics. Everything, okay? You can't leave this stuff out. Okay, you can't separate this stuff. When city council makes a decision, 
That's community. That's about yo, where you go worship, okay? Where you go play, where you go work or don't work. When county commission makes these decisions, same thing. You better pay attention, okay? You better quit thinking that you're going to go here and go into a community and take something out and not give something back. Yes. Okay? It's happened over and over again. Yep. And that's where we are right now. Yep. Okay? This is not the first time. I've watched this for the last 30 years. 30 years, actually. Men dying. And in, in particular, black men and women dying. Black children dying. Okay? Yes, yeah, sometimes it was other black people doing it. But many times, it was the police. Many times. And, and, and they're not held accountable. Let's be honest about this. Let's be honest. And we might have this situation all over again. Let's be honest. Okay? There has to be accountability. Yes. For those who have the most responsibility, they have to be held accountable. It's the only way it's gonna change. Yes, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm sad. Okay? I got. I raised two children here. I got three all together. I got five grandkids in this community. The oldest one is 16. So that tells you what, what my focus is. So they can walk down the street at any time and crazy stuff can happen. They are not safe. They are not safe. All this extra policing does nothing. It does nothing. Okay? We went into over, over mode. And what we got? We got still got, first time we actually had a child get killed in the school. Everybody else was killed outside in the community. We got killed in the school. We got misinformation, can't get a straight story. Let's get a straight story first. Then we'll know what we're dealing with. Accountability, yeah. nothing more. I'm sorry, we had a mayor come out here last night and talked about the policeman that was wounded. Yeah. I'm glad he's living, yeah. but guess what? She didn't speak to the community. Oh God. She did not speak to the community. It hurts. She did not speak to the community in a way that makes sense. And if you haven't witnessed this stuff over and over again like I have, okay, I've watched it. I've watched excuses being made. over and over again. It's time for it to end. You want, you want to keep hearing this? You want to keep hearing this? It's time, people, it's time.
crying, saying, my baby has died. <laughs> we need to do something about it. Also, I wish I could do more. My age and lower. Let me say it again, my age and lower have been dying. All I wish is that they go up to heaven and see us ha having the best time. And I wish they had the best time with God and tell them all about the life stories that they have been through. My age and lower. These screams of pain, suffering, I'm tired of it. We need to have a stop. I'm tired of having to be worried about me dying at school. At school? Come on now. We need to have something better than that. People are like suffering. I don't know what to say anymore because this is like hard for me. I'm trying to get my grades up. My age. All I wish is that I could do better and do more for everybody in my class. And guess what? I was even scared for myself whenever I had the lockdown. I was scared for my sister because she was in the area. My older sister. I want to persevere through anything because I know that I have God on my side. And I have angels because yeah. I know that He is fighting with me. Right on. Right on. With everybody here. Yeah. Right on. Things are happening that I don't know how to respond to. I don't. I want, I want to do better. I'm, I'm going to do better. Yes. That's what I'm going to do every day. I'm promising that. I want kids to live, not have lived a short life. Be shut. People, kids are saying, I want a glock and I do this and that. I want a gun. But how about we have God to protect ourselves, not some weapon. Right on, right on. We need a spiritual weapon, not a physical weapon yeah, of the right flesh. On. Yeah. Yes. Right on. We need someone, someone in the, someone like the president. We need the president to come down here and tell him to stop. And I'm not trying to let this place be, be some, some place that's bad and where you can get shot at. I'm trying to make it a place where it can be fun, where no nothing. Nothing is impossible. The sky's the limit. My age and lower. I want you to think about that. My age and lower have been dying. Shoot, I, I saw, um, I heard that a seven-year-old got killed. And, and people think that it's normal. And there was kids, and there were kids that people think like, there's nothing normal about it, what he said. Whenever I speak about this, this is not okay at all. I am a kid. 12 years old. I'm trying to get my education up, but I'm scared. If I get shot in the middle of class, I'm angry, scared, and sad for the people. That baby has died. Not the kids. Not the kids, no. All I wish for the people that have died is to set them free and let God carry them. Put them under his wings. Put the kids that are in schools right now that they, they don't they make it the law to not have the Bible inside class. They need to have God under the, the wing of the everything. Everything. Companies. The 
the schools, the after school classes, on, everything that needs to be done needs to be done. Yes. Come on. Let us walk in faith of God, yes. not of fear. Yes. Amen, amen. Right we will not have this anymore. I fear God. I want everybody to fear God because He is an Almighty King. Yes. He yes. can do what He can do. He can lift mountains. He can spread break the earth. Yes. Come on now. I'm a kid and I'm talking about this. <laughs> Use him, yeah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Keep your Jesus. Yes. Not the babies. Not the babies. There is so much pain. I feel like I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Because yes. I have the blood of Jesus. Yes. Blood of lamb surround everybody. I pray for that baby. I pray for her, the, his, his or her mom. Yes. I pray over everyone yes. that they have the blood of the lamb. Yes. People have been killed. Kids have been killed. I need enough of this. I need enough of pain, suffering. I need loyalty to God. Yes. Come on. Every kid in this school needs loyalty to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. No child should have to deal with a school system that's already not working. Uh, lifestyle. But by the time they are at a young age, they are ready to be We deal with single parents, schools in the community. The fragment of family is already shaken. And then have to worry about whether you're going to make it back home. Right on. At the age, how old are you? Oh. At the age of 12. The problems of all problems of the community. 2020 now you have to deal with this generation that's growing in a pandemic and I know we can push blame in every other area and we can push fingers and point fingers and express Get 
some stills.
that has to deal with everything that's going on. Lord, we ask you for it. And Lord, as we head to the next election, we ask you to put godly leadership. We ask you, we are not blinded, we are not blinded to the need for godly leadership. We ask you to put godly leadership in place. Yeah, I know. 